Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. George Lundberg and this is At Large at MedPage Today. Doctor, do you like to rat on your colleagues? <laughs> I understand most people don't, but you do know that Principles 1 and 2 of the American Medical Association Code of Ethics say, 1. A physician shall be dedicated to providing competent medical care with compassion and respect for human dignity and rights. 2. A physician shall uphold the standards of professionalism, be honest in all professional interactions, and strive to report physicians deficient in character or competence, or engaging in fraud or deception to appropriate entities. And those amongst us who are still AMA members ascribe to the code. This is the ethical basis for utilization review. You must do some kind of you are. But is there anyone among you readers who really believes that utilization review, prospective, concurrent, and retrospective, as currently practiced in the U.S., is of any practical value? And if so, for whom and for what real purpose other than as just another complicated way to spend money? Of course, it is a complex question, and there are many elements that need to be separated out. And there is the workman's compensation component and a raft of federal and state laws. I suppose one should give some credence to the notion that the intent of UR was to rein in avaricious or uninformed doctors and to prevent unnecessary diagnostic and therapeutic adventures, both before and after the fact. But how has that actually worked out? Doctors hate it. You are, especially before the fact, deprives them of autonomy. Patients hate it. It deprives them of their autonomy, and they would like to trust their doctor and get on with their treatment. Governments like it. It is the law. Insurance companies like it. It helps to increase their profits. The workers who do you are like it, it pays their rent and buys shoes for the kids, but looked at large, you are has failed to either control costs or improve quality when compared to historical controls and to the other developed nations. So now there is an entirely new entry to the field to which I wish to introduce you, not-for-profit, cloud-based utilization review performed externally. We know that feedback is one way to change physician behavior. We know that persons of high intellect respond better to being taught why than what. I urge you to look into this new approach. Dr. David Jadwin has invented the National External Review Network, cloud-based anonymous external review with evidence that it has actually worked in some settings and for some procedures. Click to http colon slash slash www.columbia-analytics.com and to http colon slash slash vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Columbia Analytics slash S-W-H-T-C. I have not met Dr. Jadwin, but the current situation is unacceptable and what he is doing makes really good sense to me. That's my opinion. I'm Dr. George Lundberg at large at MedPage today.